So I'm here with Oliver and Adam um, from the mock trial team who just recently got um, back from New York um, just after surviving Hurricane Sandy. So um, tell us about your trip to New York. Well, it was, um, it was really interesting. We, uh, of course, you know, when we first got there, we just expected to take part in the competition. After the competition ended, well, rather, it was during our last trial, we got the call that our plane the rat had been canceled, so we were going to be stuck for the duration of Sandy, and that was pretty interesting, I'd say. Anything to right. Would you like me to say more? Yeah. Um, yeah, we, 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 we were in New York for the Empire Mock Trial competition, and, uh, and after our, our competition finished over the weekend, uh, Sandy hit on Monday, and we were stuck in our hotel for a couple days. Um, so what happened when you learned that you were going to be trapped in New York? Well, we, um, we started gathering supplies, I guess. We went out shopping for food, water. We filled up our bathtubs with um, water in case the water mains broke and we didn't have access to water. We charged all of our phones, made sure everyone um, was, you know, just ready for whatever would happen. We didn't know if we would have power or water. Or we didn't know if any of the windows would break in the hotel, so we were just preparing for the worst. Um, what was the experience like um, as the hurricane was was hitting? Honestly, it was kind of like watching a Portland rainstorm. <laughs> yeah, there was like we, the, the area that we were at was in a really good place in Brooklyn, uh, so the storm didn't really hit all that hard. There wasn't a lot of flooding. There wasn't. I mean, there there were high wind gusts. You could see um, outer window. You could sort of see onto the street and see the rain falling sideways. Which was which was weird, and you could see flags blowing in the wind. But um, we, our hotel was pretty enclosed within a couple other buildings, so we weren't getting hit by the hurricane really at all from our room. I believe our hotel had actually just been updated as well for storm windows and uh, flood proof and all that That's stuff. Lucky. So yeah, it was it was good. We we checked the um, the evacuation zone, you know, where we would go if we were to be evacuated, and it turns out it was just a place like two houses down from us was the evacuation um, zone. Like, we were in the perfect area to, to weather the storm. Yeah, that's that's really lucky. Yeah. Um, so describe what the area looked like after the hurricane. Well, our area wasn't too badly affected. There were a couple of downed trees. There uh, was, I think, a sign, like, across the way a little bit that fell, uh, that had fallen off. Um, and then it was just kind of dirty. <laughs> there were leaves all over the street. and. Uh, and things that had, had you know been blown blown about, but it wasn't it wasn't super damaged in the, the area that we were at. We uh, crossed the Brooklyn Bridge a couple days later and saw Battery Park, and we saw uh, some of the other areas of Lower Manhattan, and that was a lot more damaged. There was a lot more flooding. Even some of the other areas of Brooklyn, yeah. there was a lot more flooding, but where we were at, there really wasn't a whole lot of damage. Yeah, I think the the closest the the most notable damage that was close to us, I think, um, uh, if we let, if we were to leave our hotel and take a few blocks down towards the river, um, what's that place called? Dumbo? That's yeah. What it was. There's this little place called Dumbo down by the shoreline where all of the storefronts and everything completely destroyed, everything was completely waterlogged, basements were flooded, they didn't have electricity, and it was really kind of eerie because we had just gone to that place like a few days before the storm to get dessert, and just seeing everything go from lively and bustling and all full and operational to just completely destroyed, it was very, um, it was very surprising. Yeah. Um, so how, like, in general, how was the trip and the competition um, while you were there? It was good. Um, the competition was amazing. Uh, probably one of my the highlights of my high school experience. Um, getting to go up against other teams from South Korea and in, in, in France and what was that? The, the Australian team was there. There's an Australian team. There's Irish, Scottish, um, just all sorts of different. Yeah, Alabama. 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 <laughs> Shout out to the Alabama team. It was. Just, it was, it was really interesting to see how everyone else kind of conducted their mock trial and, and see all these different styles of the competition at a, at, at, um, at a really high level. And that really gave us kind of an insight of how we should um, take some of that back and apply it to our state competition. Yeah, I mean, mock trial definitely varies from, uh, from region to region, just as, as uh, 
laws vary from region to region and, and legal procedures vary from region to region. So um, going against teams that, you know, that were preparing in Ireland and then coming, a lot of, um, a lot of what they would um, do procedure-wise was very different than what we would do. And so it was, it was a very interesting kind of, um, I wouldn't, not a culture shock, but a kind of combination of a different legal cultures, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and it was it was wonderful because we were all in the same hotel, so when the storm hit, we were all stuck for you know for another week, and we got to meet all of these other teams that you know we've been going against. Oh, so wait, were they all in like one hotel? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. a lot of them were on our floor. We were. Oh, um, that's actually really awesome. It was, it was a lot of fun. We uh, we were our our rooms were sandwiched in between uh, uh, a team from Alabama. <laughs> Uh, so we got to hang out with the Alabama team quite a bit. Uh, we got food recommendations from them. Um, we gave them a few few food recommendations. Um, but I mean, it was pretty fun to uh, to really get to know a lot of the teams that we've been competing against, and uh, and to get to, to know them on a personal level, which was which was pretty fun. Yeah, that's that sounds awesome. Um, so that's actually the end of the interview. So um, I want to say thank you to Oliver and Adam. Um, Definitely, they glad that they're they're alive and they actually brave <laughs> brave the storm. You never know. Um, so thank you guys, uh, thank you. Thank and you. make sure to go to www.whsamplifier to check out uh, more stories.